Hello everyone, it's Raj here and welcome back to the channel and I've got an amazing video for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at a VPN that costs only $2.75 a month. It's been given a 9.4 out of 10 rating on Trustpilot. It claims to allow you to access block sites, torrenting sites and streaming services and browse and stream unlimitedly. The question is, is it worth it or is it just all full of hot air? The VPN we're going to be taking a look at today is called CyberGhost VPN. Now these guys claim to allow you to stream and browse unlimitedly, stay safe and be anonymous at the same time. They have a zero logs policy, military grade encryption, 256 bit encryption. They have an automatic kill switch and one subscription allows you to have seven devices running simultaneously. It is available on Windows, Mac, Android, Fire TV, Linux, Chrome and Firefox. And they claim to have 15 years of expertise. So I decided, well, let's actually try this out and we're gonna find out how it's gonna fare up. I went to the downloads page and I'm on Mac OS, so I decided to download the Mac OS version. And the installation was pretty painless, to be honest. Just a one-click procedure, you download and it's on your computer. So, so far, everything was going well. So when the VPN is first installed on your computer, on Mac OS, it will be located on the taskbar and it will be in the form of a drop-down window. On Windows, it's gonna be located on the bottom right corner of the taskbar as a window. And for Fire TVs and Android devices, it's a simple app. So once you're on that little main screen, there are two double arrows that expand the app for more settings. And what was really cool about this app is it actually has specific servers for downloading and streaming. And these servers are optimized for certain platforms. They also have nifty connection features as well. They have features such as blocking ads, malicious websites, data compression, and they also block online tracking. You can even set your VPN to connect when you connect to a specific network. Now this is the part where I got to the actual service. Now one of their big promises is their geo-blocking. So I wanted to test if their servers would work with BBC iPlayer and US Netflix. So I took the dive and I went and connected to the BBC iPlayer one first. And the connection was speedy. As you can see, the speeds we're getting from the speed tests here, they are pretty damn impressive. Um, even on my university network. I was expecting it to be a little jittery and there to be some slight buffering or even reduction in quality, but I didn't get any of these, which is a shock because most previous VPN services I've tried, usually there was a reduction in quality. So next I tried Netflix US. Now this one's always the big test for all VPNs because they either flop or it's either amazing for a few weeks and then the server will just start working. So I went and tried this. My expectations were not high. Let's be real here because uh, I've had some bad experiences in the past. And shockingly, it actually worked. I was able to stream Netflix as you are seeing right now in amazing quality and there was no buffering and honestly I was shocked at this point. I'm like okay there is no way so I refreshed it again, refreshed it again, went through all it again and Netflix US was still working and I'm going look listen and I'm gonna have to tell all my family and friends to cancel their cable subscription because they can get Netflix US in Canada where I am. I also did try other servers from different countries and they work just fine as well. Everything was working remarkably smoothly actually. Honestly, I gotta say at this point boys, I was pretty impressed. So then I got onto the connection features. Now as I mentioned previously, they had a block ads feature, they had a block malicious websites feature, and they also had an automatic HTTP redirection and data compression as well. So first I tried the block ads feature, okay? And this one was a little bit hit and miss. It worked for YouTube, but it did not really work for some of the other websites. So for example, I tried it on Mail Online and it didn't work too well there. I was still getting the ads, so I, was, I wasn't convinced on that. I wasn't convinced on that, although it did work for YouTube, so I'm a bit 50-50 on that. And then I tried the Block Militia sites. I didn't get any scammy sites popping up, and when I did enter one, it would always warn me which is exactly what I wanted to do. I always want to warn me and then I can go, okay, I'm not gonna access it or yes, I'm gonna access it. And then I tried the block online tracking feature and that also seemed to be, again, all fully in order. And the VPN wouldn't allow sites to store my data, which again, boys, is gonna protect your privacy. That is one of the key features you should look for in a VPN. Regardless of what VPN you go for, make sure they're not tracking your data and the websites you're visiting are not tracking your data either. You want a VPN that completely protects you, yeah? Because there's a difference between hiding your IP and cloaking yourself. Hiding your IP is just hiding your IP, but really cloaking yourself includes hiding your IP, but actually protecting your personal data as well. It is an overall very solid VPN. The features it promised all worked. Again, the only downside was the block ads feature was not as good as I expected it to be. 
But for $2.75, you know, you can't really go wrong. And it does the job. And it ultimately does what you want it to do. And surprisingly, when I was comparing it with some other competitors, it's actually the cheapest out there. I was comparing it to ExpressVPN. It's $2.75 for CyberGhost VPN, and it's $8.32 for ExpressVPN. So for me, boys, it's a no-brainer. So I'm going to give this VPN a 9 out of 10. Again, I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if the block ads feature was seamless. But for $2.75, you really cannot go wrong. It is the ultimate bang for your buck. So I'm going to go put a link to this down below in the description. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. What other VPNs would you recommend and you want me to review? And as always, I'll do my best to respond to you guys. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching as usual. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell button. Don't forget to smash that like button. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy.